and so does IB, lowercase i, o. Now, what about blood type AB? So to form blood type AB, the male parent has to be A, the female parent has to be B, or vice versa. This male has to be uh, B, and this female has to be A, and only then will we form blood type AB. And finally, to form blood type O, both of these have to be recessive, meaning they both have to lack these genes that code for either one of these antigens. And so in that case, if we have recessive and recessive, we form lowercase i, o, lowercase i o and that gives us blood type o so these are the four different types of blood groups that our that humans actually have and we see that knowing how the immune system actually works and the fact that it produces antibodies is crucial to actually understanding how and why blood transfusion actually takes place and how it works